when he saw the airplane passing, he went to, mm. went to his grandfather and asked him, Have you seen this thing that has passed here? His grandfather told him that that is an airplane. And the boy asked his grandfather, How can you reach the airplane? Can you jump and get it the airplane and fly with it? The grandfather told him no. He told him that if you want to reach the airplane, you must study hard and get your degree. Then you must reach the airplane. My father was attacked by thieves when I was very young. He was on the way home from work. My father was a doctor. He helped people. They told him to give them everything. My father was afraid, but he was an he was also a proud man. He said to them, Who are you to t- people to tell me what to do? They beat him, but took his money and cut him with a panga. He passed away in, in the hospital afterwards. And from that day, when I remember that, I shall be sad. And that's how my dad died. My mom understood me well. After she passed away from the disease, I will wear the vest every day. Sometimes when life is boring, I just take this vest of mine, sit down and remember my mom. They were important person to me. I lived on the street and think sometimes about killing me. But my grandma tells me you should not be sad because if you are sad, your life will be just short because it is good to be happy. Me and my brothers and sisters got kicked out of our house. We went to the city and begged. I met a woman who helped me and my brothers and sisters move to Nyalenda and helped with school fees. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. To become a pilot, I have to study hard and uh, get my degree and went to the College of Pilot Training. I returned to Nyalenda and helped my friends still living in Nyalenda. Tell them how I have achieved my dreams and I am a very important person and I live in a big house. Pilots don't live in slums. Since I was a kid, I've been dreaming of being a journalist. They always make themselves beautiful, all those jewelries made from gold and silver. They plait their hair smart, they wear expensive clothes. So I just want to be elegant and marvelous. Some live even in, in a house with 12 rooms, block fence, butterfly chairs, glass table, then garden with flowers, flower garden. So they didn't live in single rooms like ours. I want my own car. Yeah, my Mercedes Benz C class. I don't like living in Yalanda because of the children who didn't get to go to school. They've grown up to become thugs, form a group of gangs, and they disturb girls like they call you, you don't go, then they'll go after you and beat you up. I'm afraid to leave my house at night because the gangsters will beat me up. The head teacher has told us a story about the gangs who attacked a girl. Hello guys, I hope you had a lovely day. I'm Lillian A.O. from wherever you're watching us. Breaking news, her girl was sent by her mother to the show. The girl had been kidnapped by three gangsters who she didn't know where they came from. The people took the girl and they raped her until the girl ended up in hospital. The mother of the girl said that the shop was very near to the house and the girl couldn't do that so very fast. The people who did that have been arrested and one managed to escape. We'll get to the big news at 9 o'clock 
for I'm your host, Noni Lillian. I didn't know my real mother because I was telling them with my brother at Nyalenda. Duncan is a driver. He earns 500 per day and he saves 100 for the school fees of my brother. Then he sends 200 to my mom. Then 200 we spend as supper for those basic needs. So to achieve my dreams, I love to go to a boarding school, but at the moment, my brother doesn't have enough money to support us. I shall never lose hope for me to be a journalist. Uh, you have to ignore the bad things and keep moving forward. Uh, when I become a journalist, actually, uh, I'll get everything that I want. Journalists don't live in slums. I come from the slum, but I don't let the slum get to me. You know, because I don't believe the slum defines me. I define myself. Young County Changemakers is a community-based organization working in Kisumu East and Kisumu Central parts of Kisumu County. And we are geared towards mentorship of young people and young children to, to actualize their dreams and their potentials. The YCCM is a place that I can concentrate at my studies. I could not study at home. We can't afford the electricity, so the light goes off and have to use lamps that hurt our eyes. I used to work taking hours going to the city library. Then Moses came up and told me that we have another library, which is the YCCM library, and I found it easy going there. Now as YCCM, um, we think and believe that as opposed to just sitting and complaining about all this, all these challenges, we think it is wise to contribute uh, towards making these children the future uh, leaders. We have a lot of experience because we grew up in the same community. So we know the stories here, we know the challenges here, and we know the gaps that we can step into. We might not be able to offer every solution to every problem, but we know that in our own simple ways, we have a lot of love to share, we have a lot of stories and some experience and we understand the challenges that the younger generations are going through because we have been there. Mike helped me in uh, studies by teaching me mathematics because I, I'm not good at mathematics. If you are a, a pilot, mathematics is what you are using in the airplane. Without the YCCM, I don't think I will achieve my dream, but I got there. Now I have seen changes in me and I can see now that I'm going to be the first pilot in your land. The YCCM has helped me change in my learning standards like now. We have the revision going for the maths, English and science. So you find that when you're weak in a subject, you just go there and find those people, they help you revise it. I should never lose hope for me to be a journalist. We strongly believe that any child is capable of being whatever they they are, irrespective of where, where they are living. Without a dream, you, you have this vicious cycle of poverty and joblessness and, and depression and, and constant feeling like you want the government to step in and, and, and offer you a solution. So you have to have a dream because every one of us has a gift and a talent and there's something we can offer this world. It has to start with the mind and, and believing that you can do it and you have something to offer. Like the world has so many problems but that's why we are born every, children are born every day because they come with solutions. Nothing is stopping them. They should be able to achieve their dreams.